everybody, Jason here of Ghostbusters News. And for most Ghostbuster fans, their love of the franchise began either one of two ways. Watching the original 1984 film, or discovering the real Ghostbusters animated series. And when the real Ghostbusters began airing back in 1986, most characters from the movie made the transition, albeit with a few cosmetic changes. Of course, there was the flashier two-tone flight suits, Egon Spangler's total makeover, and changes made to both Ray and Peter to help further separate the two. Oh, and Winston, he lost his mustache. Now in 1989, as part of a promotion for Ghostbusters 2, Now Comics released a three-part comic series that told the film's story, but instead starred the animated characters. Now I want to give you a quick heads up, I'm planning to do an eventual deeper dive here on the Ghostbusters News YouTube channel, but let me just say this crossover as a kid is one of my all-time favorite pieces of storytelling from the franchise. To see the real Ghostbusters go head-to-head -head against Vigo the Carpathian, along with the inclusion of Dana Barrett, who is omitted in the cartoon series, was pretty wild. Now, much like that 1989 comic series, artist Chris J. Sorrentino has taken a similar approach, launching a passion project called Real Ghostbusters. That's R-E-E-L, that drops the characters of the real Ghostbusters into some of the most iconic scenes from the 1984 original. And as you're seeing on your screen right here, the first couple of illustrations do a great job at capturing the original film's vibe and style. We can see that unsettling basement of the New York Public Library as paranormal happenings are afoot, along with Peter Venkman doing some questionable testing at Columbia University. Sorrentino then takes us to the Sedgwick Hotel, with some of the film's most memorable moments being retold. From Slimer munching down on the food cart, Ray of course seeing him being astonished, with that cigarette dangling out of his mouth. I especially love the inclusion of the real Ghostbusters gear, including those ecto goggles. And then we've got Peter in the hallway with the radio in hand, and we know how things eventually end for him. Of course, he gets slimed. And then we've got the brains of the operation, Dr. Egon Spangler. Now, if you're watching this video, I don't have to tell you, there is no doubt Egon's character is the one that saw the biggest makeover when it came to adapting him from the film to the animated series. Now, after the Ghostbusters bus Slimer, we are then presented with the montage. And a few of those moments have been faithfully recreated, with Ray here seen holding a ghost trap in hand as he's exiting a building. And then we've got my man, Winston Zedmore. And as I already mentioned right here, you can see he's got no mustache, awkwardly making him more like Ghostbusters 2 version of Winston Zedmore. Now, this is pretty surreal to see because we have the inclusion of Dana Barrett, who once again wasn't part of the real Ghostbusters animated series. The design here appears to be unique, but fits the art style, especially standing next to Venkman. And of course, where there's Dana, we gotta have Lewis Tully. You know you can't have the gatekeeper without the keymaster. And much like the main four Ghostbusters, Lewis's appearance here is based off what he looked like in the real Ghostbusters animated series. Now from there, we're gonna throw a variety of characters your way. First up, we've got the taxi cab zombie, with Kenner's zombie toys stepping in for the role. And might I add, I love the way this looks. We have got another great look at Slimer here, this time of course coming out of that food cart, tons of hot dogs in his mouth. Speaking of food, we have another illustration here of Egon Spangler, this time of course holding a Twinkie in hand. And for those that don't know, the Terror Dogs did make an appearance in the real Ghostbusters animated cartoon show, with that design being used in this project. And one character we almost forgot about is Mare Linney, who once again, much like that Terror Dog, did appear in the animated series despite going through a few visual changes, like whatever that mustache is supposed to be. And then the grand finale that contains a stunning recreation of Gozer's Temple. Right now we're taking a look at the building, but yes, here is the temple. We got the doors open there, the two terror dogs, the four Ghostbusters, or should I say four real Ghostbusters approaching, and then there it is, the Destructor Gozer the Gozerian. We then see Ray Stance recalling his times at Camp Wakanda, followed by Winston Zedmore, covered in ooey, gooey, marshmallow, all the while loving the town. Now Sorrentino, who's a member of the NYC Ghostbusters, is hoping to eventually compile these illustrations into an art book, allowing fans to add them into their very own collections. And for more of Sorrentino's work and to keep up to date with this project, we'd recommend following him on Twitter or checking out his website. Of course, we got links to both down below in the description. That's all I've got for here right now. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. We have a link to that down below in this video's description. And I'll see everybody right back here next time.